Hey everybody, this is Rob for GearWire. Let's take a look at Reaper, the uh, DAW application, digital audio workstation application from the Kakos company. Reaper is a very unique DAW in that it is very lightweight and very straightforward. Uh, it has uh, a lot of amazing features and uh, we're going to be doing a long series of screencasts exploring Reaper. Today we are looking at specifically the feature of audio setup. Now, setting up audio in your uh, digital audio workstation is something that you just got to do no matter what uh, program you choose. Your uh, software doesn't know what input-output system it is running under. It doesn't know what external gear you have. It doesn't know uh, how sound is going to come into uh, itself and onto the disk and then back off the disk and out the uh, output. You have to tell it these things. The very basic audio setup of Reaper is what we're going to be covering here. If you click Control P, or rather uh, type Control P, or click under Options and Preferences, you can come up with Reaper's main preference uh, menu. And right here we can see that uh, the audio device property is lit up. What we are doing here is we are going to tell Reaper to be using the Wave Out audio subsystem. We have choices here. There's WDM kernel streaming, there's direct sound, there's Wave Out and ACO. Um, the, these four choices basically map to the presence of drivers that you have or don't have on your particular system. If you in fact have ACO drivers, for example, uh, which you would have or should be using if uh, your input-output system is uh, a USB system or a PCI card, uh, you would uh, be better off using the ACO drivers. Um, that either came with the device that you purchased or you can go to acoforall.com and get those drivers. Uh, and we will uh, look at ACO setup in a different video screencast about Reaper. Right now we're going to be using the Wave Out uh, audio system and the reason we're using that is because this is a uh, laptop, a uh, fairly modest uh, Toshiba laptop with integrated sound right on its uh, motherboard. It's not the kind of uh, sound that you're going to want to use for uh, major uh, recording projects because the sound itself is, uh, you know, has some limitations. But the point is, is showing that Reaper uh, can go any one of these four ways in terms of audio system. Now, Wave Out is the native uh, method to use on this particular uh, Toshiba satellite. And the input device can be picked from one of two excuse me, uh, input and output, both have two choices. Microsoft Sound Mapper is the choice that we use right here. This basically is telling Reaper that the sound that it receives from external, uh, for, you know, from outside itself, is going to be routed through Microsoft's uh, operating system. Uh, basically, Microsoft Sound Mapper is an alias or a pointer to the true, truly uh, underlying uh, physically existing sound system that's on the machine. In this case, that's called Connexent AMC Audio. Um, I find that uh, choosing either one of these results in the same result. Um, you get the audio into the system. Um, and since this is a laptop with a fairly modest uh, input stage, we're not really that concerned with input in any case. Uh, this is a situation where we're not going to be putting too much live sound into this laptop. And so uh, the appropriate setting would be to pick Microsoft Sound Mapper for input. We should also do the same thing for output um, because, again, uh, we're just going to be uh, connecting, say, for example, the output on the uh, hardware output on the laptop to uh, headphones or maybe a, a small set of speakers. From uh, this map, you can also, excuse me, from this uh, uh, menu, you can also choose the sample format for, the, uh, for Reaper uh, by default. Uh, right now it's set for 16-bit. We could set that to 24-bit, no problem. Of course, 32-bit. And this is related to the checkbox below where it says you can allow projects to override the device sample rate. So this is the um, sample rate for the device as Reaper sees it, but it is uh, overridable on a per-project basis uh, if you check the box below. The number of input channels is selectable here. Um, here is a situation where uh, two is the correct number for uh, this, again, modest Toshiba laptop. We've got the stereo in and stereo out. We have a sample rate of 44.1. And buffers and samples. Um, this is a uh, reading of how many, uh, how many chunks of memory and how big uh, these chunks are uh, that are listening to audio pass in and out of the system. 
the number of buffers, the greater the number of buffers, and the greater the larger the number, the larger the size of the buffers, the greater the latency. And of course, the latency is fairly high here. Uh, this uh, is uh, uh, 185 uh, milliseconds, and this latency rating is going to drop significantly if we were to use an audio uh, an input audit output system uh, that uh, was not built into the motherboard on a modest Toshiba laptop. So you probably uh, can see the relationship between that value and the environment that we're actually in. So that is basic audio device setup under Reaper. Thanks for watching. Keep it on GearWire.com for more great videos.